welcome back to the channel. I did mention that I had loads of plans. I did do a little video of what mods should I do to the car. Um, obviously in my head I've got rough ideas of things and bits and pieces I want to do to it. Um, but it was never gonna be anything mad. Um, my sole priority at the moment is to get this car to a good standard, so it's gonna be my wedding car and the fact that I want to be able to use the car a little bit more. So there's been a few things I've done, which I've not filmed, but I have posted on Instagram. So if you haven't, any of you subscribers out there, uh, follow our Instagram page and Facebook. Please go check it out because you do kind of see things a little bit earlier because I kind of post pictures as little sneak peeks as we go. Um, and as we're out and about, I might do bits and pieces and stuff like that. So please go check that out if you haven't already. Um, while I'm on the little, the plugging session, um, obviously if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Have a look around at our other playlist because there's all sorts of bits and pieces going. That's me done on that respect. So you may notice there's another wheel here. So. If you haven't seen a previous video, go check that out. Um, I had the chance to kind of have a GB wheel as a mock-up wheel. As I was going to go GBs, I was just going to keep it simple. Uh, however, I have these. Uh, I've got two sets of these, uh, KM Mercury wheels. Um, these were painted many years ago in one of my hobby estate I had. Uh, this particular set anyway the other set is not painted or prepped or anything it's still very original now they're not perfect by any stretch of imagination um but these were the wheels i originally bought for this car but then i bought the clubby estate that was on the road before this and yeah if one thing leads to another they kind of spiral out of control but i think they're going to work very well on this car as an interim wheel because like mentioned these wheels are not going anywhere i just want to refurb them but i do not have the time um nor nail down the final plans that I want to do with them as of yet. So I'm going to go get some new tyres. So I'm going to head off up to Huddersfield Mini Spares to get some new tyres. So I will do a little bit of filming while I'm there because it's awesome up that place. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along for the ride, I guess. But let's walk around to the business I have done, plans I have got for the car and show you the wheels as a bit more of a close up. So these are the KM Mercury wheels. So these ones, like I say, they've been hand painted. There's a few marks on them. They are pretty original in that respect. Like I haven't really refurbed them as such. I have just literally tidied the faces up. Um, hand painted all this back in. So originally these would have been polished with the black inserts. And I think the centre would have been black as well. But I kind of like it like that. Um, I hope you can agree it's kind of going to look pretty cool on the car. So, so we've got a nice set of four there. Uh, you will notice. I'll say no more on that subject at the moment. See if you can uh, work that one out as we go around. But the one big change is the fact the car has now become a dumping ground. But I acquired a Cobra Monaco seat. So yeah, it's quite a base seat. It's they're yeah, you know, just very generic seats really at the end of the day. In my eyes, if I didn't like this, it was just gonna go straight in the Unos. So either way it's gonna get used. Um, but I had a seat frame line around and I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, the diaphragm on that needs to be replaced. That's not the reason why I'm taking the seat out. I can buy a diaphragm at like 40 quid. I'm not I'm not afraid by doing that kind of work. For me, the seat's getting a bit threadbare. I say threadbare, it's just getting a bit worn. The car's on, what are we on now? 83,000. Um, and I kind of just want to look after this interior. And I kind of always liked the look of the one bucket seat. So for me, I'm the only one that really ever drives this many. I want to be comfy. Being selfish on my own car, I guess. Um, that being said, moving forward, I want to tidy the dash up a little bit. I want to finish it behind. Um, there's a few rattles and creaks and stuff that have appeared in this car. I just want to sort it out now. I just want to get it done. Uh, so, yeah. Let's have a look at the outside of the car and talk about plans. So, on the outside, obviously, I'm swapping out the wheels. The tyres I'm after are the exact same 008s. Um, I love these tyres. I think they're great. They're good all around the tyre. Um, you will have noticed from the back there was something missing. Now, there will be something missing from the front very soon. The front of this car, other than that, I love it. I love how she looks. No one likes my one spot lamp, but for me, it works. It's exactly how it was. The only thing that isn't original to the front of this car is I've changed the badge for a Mark III and the spot lamp, obviously. The other thing is disappearing, which loads of people will be very happy with. As I'm aware, there's a lot of people that don't like 
the JDM plates. Now for me, I love them. I think if the whole car was done as a kind of a bit of a kind of JV, JDM homage because I love how they style cars out. I love their enthusiasm and fuel they have for the classic mini. And that's why I did my car as an like kind of inspired build um, at the beginning, but it's had its day now uh, and I'm a bit bored. So those are coming off. A lot of the JDM bits apart from the cup holders are coming out um, and I'm kind of going back I kind of feel like getting rid of the split rims is a big big step so i'm going back to a more authentic look i want her to look quite traditional in my photos as well for my wedding so that's the other reason why i'm kind of doing it it's a big change so she's gonna look basically standard apart from 10 inch rules by the time i'm done so obviously like i said there's a little bit of work that i do want to do um there's a tiny little bit of like paint that's come off there i can't really see it. i haven't got a torch to hand um basically where the wheel's spinning going around around and around um it's just chipped away the paint I've, there's so much layers of paint on this and it's taken five years to get to that so i just want to put some paint back on it before we get any rust we're not at that point yet um but other than that the car's a bit shed like at the moment obviously that's not staying like that um this is the new sticker i want about guys you will have seen i've changed my logo so if you're a brand's hatch you're a lucky person that comes up to me i will have some with me back of the car i'm keeping the fuel bib because i just like that and yeah i'm just going to change that so yeah, I'm gonna head off to Huddersfield Mini Spares, go check in on them guys, pick up some tires, maybe some other bits while we're there. And yeah, I'll bring you along for the ride. Hope you enjoy this video because it's just gonna be a bit bitty. Um, I wanna get back. We'll obviously get the tires fit and balance and stuff like that. And we'll start a little transformation, shall we? Catch you in a bit. And that's us packed, ready to go to the tyre shop. Why did you buy a Volvo, I say? Oh yeah. There we have it, guys. So we've got some Yokohama 008s on there, my go-to tyre. I've always had these, they're great all weather, they last for a while. Um, these have been on this car for absolutely too long, and there's still plenty of tread, and they're not really that old, they're just kind of old, if you know what I mean. They're, they're, they grip fine, but I didn't see the point in swapping them out, because these tyres actually came off these wheels oh i don't know how many years ago now way too many years ago so moves me on to my next mod so if you didn't see in the little clip there where you just saw uh, that so this car's always had jdm plates on it I, I i love the plates i went for a jdm look on the car that's absolutely fine um however i have got myself a set of Normal UK oblong plates. Uh, so I've got some pressed metal ones just because I like the look of them. I've got the same company to make these that I did for the Volvo. And they're really nice, really good quality. So I'm happy with them. But it's gonna look very, very odd on this car. So round the front of the car, you will probably remember. Uh, it's got a tilt bracket and stuff like traditional Japanese cars. So I'm gonna lose all this. I want the vehicle to look quite authentic. So for me, the main reason I'm changing this is I just want to change the car. I've always, I've done the Japanese look. I had it magazine featured. I'm really happy with it. I love the Japanese look. I, it's how I wanted the car. However, it kind of got an inkling into my head um, for two factors. One, this plate's been damaged. Um, something bounced on the road when I was driving it. Pro uh, I think, oh, probably when I last drive that out last year. Um, and it bent the number plate bracket. That's fair enough. But obviously being a plastic acrylic plate, it's actually damaged it around where the, 
the bolt holes are, which I'll show you in there, you can see there's all water that's built up underneath there. And there's only a matter of time for it delaminates the whole thing and it starts ruining it. So I took that as a chance. So that's one reason. The other reason is this vehicle was going to be my wedding car. Um, and I kind of really want it to look very traditional in the photographs and kind of just normal. Uh, so I'm going to opt to go back to the normal plates. It's going to be very weird because the car's been like this for five years. But I think it's a good time. It's two good reasons, I think, why. And yeah, it's something I've kind of been on the fence about a little bit. So I know a lot of you viewers don't actually like these plates. So it make you guys happy as well so you know hopefully i'm pleasing some people with this as well so i'm going to crack on i've already cleaned all the glue off the boot uh so i'll get the boot number plate stuck on and we'll whip this off so i'll set you guys up and we'll start getting this changed So this is how it was all held on. This bracket I actually got shipped from Japan. I mean, I could have made it myself, but at the time I was ordering a fair few bits. Um, so I've got, got it in the order, but you can see now a bit more up close. It's, it's kind of dug in where it's been hit and it's just started to delaminate it, which is a shame, but you can actually see through it. <laughs> so yeah, this is no more now, which is a bit of a shame, but nah, I'm pretty happy with the fact that it's going now. So how different does that look? Absolutely bang on. So it's time to get these wheels off and swapped. And voila, we're on. So, missing sense caps, knew that before. I never ran sense caps with them when I had them on my other car. Um, however, I found that I've got a couple of caps that will fit. So I'm most likely to sit them on the front as it's the most ugliest bit with the, set, the uh, hub nut there. But I think let's go for a little trundle down the road and see how they feel. Um, my recall from these wheels is they felt really nice to drive with a very, very lightweight. So let's crack on. Right guys, so there she is, she's out. What do you all think? So I'll walk around her now and just explain the bits that I've changed on her. Um, first impressions of them wheels, bang on. Absolutely bang on. I had these wheels on my clubby and they, they just feel so nice to drive with, so light. Um, brand new tyres make a massive difference to any car like the Volvo and the Mazda. I've changed the tyres in this same year. Um, so all three of my cars that are on the road have actually got new tyres on. Uh, but yeah, I really can't knock that. Um, she actually looks really well, I think, on them. Uh, obviously, the bucket seat and the, uh, the number plates are the biggest change. But let's have a walk around and see what's what. Right, so yeah, I've, I've left her running, obviously, so I'll try and be as loud as I can. But the wheels have kind of toned everything down a little bit. So for me, she actually looks a bit more kind of, I don't know, a little bit naughty, a little bit more old school, a bit less showy. And that's kind of what I wanted. Um, there is, it's just completely changed how she looks. So I've got a bit of rust going through my A panel. Um, I should have replaced the A panel, but I didn't. Uh, the car has been on the road five years now, so I can't really knock it. Um, but yeah, I really, really like how these wheels look. So they just sit really nice. They work really nice with the car, they don't you know, protrude from the arch or anything. Um, yeah, but the noticeable difference to me every time I walk up to this car is the back. Look at the, look how different it looks with with UK number plates. It's mind blowing how different that, that one thing has made to this car. Um, yeah, it's a little bit mad actually, to be quite frank. But yeah, she feels, I mentioned it to my other half, she actually feels and looks like the car I bought, just less rusty. Um, obviously, that was getting on for 10 years ago, I think I've owned her. I think I've owned her 10 years nearly. Um, but yeah, she needs a bloody good detail and a bloody good clean. Um, I will just park this one here. I'm struggling to get videos out at the moment, purely because my personal life's so busy. Um, I'm getting prepared and stuff for our wedding and things like that. So that's why I've turned my attention to Violet, get her sorted. Uh, yeah, it's time to get some miles on her, time to enjoy her, really, that's the main thing. Um, the other modification I've done, obviously, swap the wheels to the Mercury, so on this side the light's a little bit better, so you'll be able to see them. Um, the number plates, and also obviously got that Cobra seat in there, that seat won't be in there for the big day. Um, it's purely for my drive, my driving capabilities I guess, and to make my, me a bit more comfortable. However, I'm not too sure on it. The seat itself, I like a nice firm seat, I'm not bothered by that. It just doesn't feel like Violet anymore. <laughs> what have I done? Um, 
yeah so we'll see i've wanted a seat in there for a while now now i've finally got one in there i don't know if it's the right seat maybe i don't know i don't know i'll drive it around i'll see how i feel it, i think because everything feels very different she feels very different to drive a lot lighter on the steering with us with the lighter wheels um yeah it's completely changed the whole characteristics of the car the seat and the wheels so we see how we get on uh this video has been very very bitty i have tried to film as much as i possibly can however i'm kind of just getting on with it um there isn't really much interesting things i've just done some changes to the car so i wasn't going to do a whole video on just fitting a number plate or changing the wheels or whatnot i kind of wanted to just bring you in and see where we're at with violet so she's basically how i want her now um i can't see me making any changes to the car i've got a long list of cars now in the pipeline i've got a mazda update coming up um i know some of you really enjoy the mazda some of you don't but there is an update on that car coming up and obviously we're still on with the 89 so really happy with that but yeah if you haven't already check out our sponsors uh, frost and link description below drop a comment below what you like about violet do you think she looks better i know a lot of people really hated the japanese plates on this car so i think a lot of people would be quite happy that they're gone um, for me it was an era it was a phase that i went through um i achieved it she did very well on the show scene with the japanese look and it's it's a niche i wanted to scratch i really love heart the japanese heritage of the car well heritage of the car japanese scene um for a better word they just style things differently and i think they did quite well with this car because it's a uk car everyone asked me was it an import and stuff like that so i feel like i did pretty decent with it um it got in a magazine and it got a lot of attention so i'm very happy with it but this is how i want the car to look i want it to look like a traditional mini again um yeah really happy with it so drop the comments below anything you want to know about the car or do to the car or are you happy about the car just drop in the comments just have a chat um smash that subscribe button if you haven't already we've also got loads of content coming um i'm having a bit of a shifty around with cars in the next coming months um there is talk of the old van so stay tuned if you haven't already please go and find us on instagram because i do post a lot more on there um it's just a bit easier and obviously i take photos of this pieces that i'm up to so Catch you next one guys, thank you for watching this bit of a boring video, but catch you soon.